did the magician say to the fisherman? Pick a cod, any cod. What's going on, Alex Bros? Mr. C here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to enter the values from this table into your graphing calculator. All right, let's go ahead and get started by pressing this button here, stat. And on option one, it says edit. That's the option we want to choose next. So you can either press the one button or enter. And upon doing so, you'll be brought to this screen, in which case there are three columns. Uh, whenever we're doing data analysis in this course, we're just going to want the columns L1 and L2. So we won't be worrying about the column L3 at all. Um, keep in mind that L1 is where your independent variable values go. Uh, with this table here, we can assume that the age is the independent variable and that the birth rate B is the dependent variable. So basically, these are all your X values or the values that will go into L1, and these would be all the Y values or values that go into L2. So I'm just going to go ahead and type each of these in individually. Uh, each time you have your number typed in, be sure to press Enter uh, after entering it in. All right, so 16, Enter. 19, Enter so on and so forth, and be really sure that you are uh, pressing enter after the last number in each of these columns, that way your calculator for sure stores it. Okay, there we have it. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and enter the um, y values or the birth rate values into L2. So I'm just going to hit the right arrow key, which brings me to the very top. And you want to be sure that you enter the correct corresponding uh, L2 value um, in this column. Uh, so basically, there shouldn't be any additional uh, values in either of these columns. Otherwise, your calculator is going to return an error message. All right, so corresponding to 16, we have 14.1. And I'll just continue all the way down the line. Okay, there we have it. In the next video, I'll show you how to turn on your stat plot and get a scatter diagram. In the meantime, thanks for watching.